Hi guys, Swansea Radio here, back again for another video, and back again for another Swansea City new signing. And Swansea City today then have signed Dutch striker Joel Peru from PSV in Eindhoven for a deal which is rounded up to a million pounds. Joel Peru then is a 21 year old Dutch under 19 international, former under 19 international. He did play his football over in Holland where he has played the majority of his footballing career. He is 5 foot 9, so like I always kind of say, not too small, not too relatively tall. In his short spell of his career, then he has played quite a lot of games, 148 games so far in his professional career and that ranges from under 17s Eredivisie football to main Eredivisie football and in the Europa League. So as you can tell he's got quite a lot of experience in the Europa League he's played one game, he's got two goals, you know he's not doing too bad, well wasn't doing too bad in the Europa League when he was playing there but yeah he's played the majority of his football probably in the second tier of Dutch football he has played quite a few games in the main division of Eredivisie but hasn't really hit the high 10 so PSV have decided to sell him and hopefully Joel Peru can uh, carry on his form for the Europa League and uh, second league in Holland and bring her over to the second league in England and hopefully you know we can see a really really good player. So in his 148 games and he has scored 62 goals and got 20 assists so 82 goal contributions 148 games isn't too bad. I know some of these you know stats come from under 23s, under 17s football and stuff like that but you still got to count to the end of the day. According to a few people in Holland who look at PSV Eindhoven week in week out these are what we can expect from Joel Peru. We expect quite a physical striker you know, someone who can hold the ball up quite well, win a win, win a lot of knockdowns. Slim to Andre, not really tall, but can get in the air really, really well, and you know, we use his physicality well. Another good attribute to Joel Peru's game is his head and ability. You know, defensive head, as he's very, very good at, and you know, scoring with his head, he's probably better than finishing with his feet. So, you know, if we can get some crosses into the box, and you know, when Joel Peru gets his head in it, I'm expecting a few goals, according to uh, the Dutch media and stuff like that. So, you know, those are the main things we can look out for. Apparently, he's relatively quite quick as well for quite a build striker as well not too quick though so he's not going to be you know a Jamal Lowe uh, type of pace striker similar to Andre you know not really that slow but you know not the you know frightening pace you want to attack defenders with. Joel Peru then can also play either side of the wings he can play on the left or right hand side so you know if we want to you know switch things up maybe put Jamal through the middle and put Joel, Joel Peru on the wing then we could do that so you know he's quite versatile as well which is good to see. I think the main thing for Joel Peru then why he's not really hit the heights of PSV Eindhoven's fans and you know their directors and stuff like that. I just don't think he's had, you know, the run run of games. You know, we've seen it with Jan Dandruff Swansea, you know, hasn't really been given a run of games. He plays one game, has a bad game, and then we don't see him for three months. So I think with Joel Peru, we've got to be, you know, got to be careful with him. He's still young, he's 21 years old, and there's going to be a lot of expectation on his head. You know, he's probably going to be the main striker this season. You know, we've got Carl Joseph, Liam Cullen as well on the ranks. But I just think he'll probably be the main striker. You know, a million pounds for us is quite a big fee, considering we haven't really been splashing the cash over the years. You know, a million pounds is quite a lot for us. So I think I'm going to have to be quite... I think we're just going to have to be quite patient with him. You know, don't get you know on his back too soon. You know, we had John Van Zweden the other day saying it's the worst signing of all times. So like, mate, shut up. You know, what a way to back your player. You know, a former director saying it's the worst signing of all time. You know, what a way to back back a new signing. Well done, John Van Zweden. But you know, he spoke to Den Haag, so that says it all really. But yeah, enough about Den Haag. No one really cares. But yeah, Joel Peru just got to be patient with him. Really, I am expecting you know a few goals, maybe five to ten this season. But I just really hope he gets like he seems. Like a good lad, you know, he's brought his family over here. I believe his girlfriend also plays uh, professional football in the women's league, so you know, that's pretty interesting. How you know, both of them are professional footballers, that's pretty cool to be honest. But I just hope he really settles down here. Obviously, with COVID 19 still going on and stuff like that, could be a little bit hard to sell him. But I really, really hope you know, Joel Brew does well because you know, with Andre leaving, you know, there's got to be a, a, some expectation on some of the other players like Jamal Lowe, um, Liam Cullen, Carl Joseph, and now Joel Peru. You know, there's gonna be expectation on these players' heads. You know, if they don't deliver, you know, they could be some Swansea fans are happy and we got to a playoff final last year Swansea fans will be expecting you know playoffs minimum probably this season so there's a lot of expectation and fingers crossed Joel Peru can exceed that expectation so what do I rank this sign out of 10 then I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 you know it's an interesting one really. we don't know too much about him he hasn't played too many games in the first league in Eredivisie you know hasn't really played so many games at PSV so it's an interesting one really it's going to be one of these signings where he's either going to massively flop play like 100 games score like one goal something stupid like that or you know he's 
he's going to be a massive success. I, I don't think he's going to be in between. I don't think he's been going to do all right to some. He's going to be a massive flop or a really good success. And you know, hopefully it's the uh, latter where he's going to be a huge success. But yeah, let me know down below, guys, what you rate, rate this out of ten. Like I said, not too much to say on this. There's not too much information on him. We haven't known too much of him. So like I said, I'm going to give it out of ten. Let me know down below, guys, what you rank this signing and what are your expectations for Joel Brew's goals this season? How many goals do you expect Joel Brew to score this season? I want to know that as well. So thanks guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow there will be a new video on my reactions to Swansea home away goal kicking kits and the new badge, which uh, really took a surprise. So my reaction will be out that tomorrow. But yeah, this was just a new signing. So that's our second new signing. And of course, I did the Carl Joseph one about two weeks ago. And now, of course, if there is any more transfer news, I will try my best to get this out ASAP. Uh, just didn't do it yesterday because I just, just don't have enough time, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got another signing just before pre season starts. So Swansea pre season starts today where they do training. You know, I know we've got a few friendlies now, so fingers crossed we get a few more bodies over the line, and fingers crossed we can get a few more contracts done and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Really, really do appreciate the support, and welcome to Swansea City. Joel Peru has become Steve Cooper's second sign-in of the summer window for 2021-2022 season. Thank you.